Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. The Queen's cousin Lady Gabriella Windsor reportedly collapsed just as the former monarch's coffin arrived at Westminster. Lady Gabriella, the daughter of Prince Michael of Kent, was standing in line with other members of the royal family as Her Majesty's coffin was brought inside. According to Hello magazine, there was a commotion as the royal appeared to have fainted. A member of staff is said to have rushed over to provide assistance while her husband, Thomas Kingston, turned around to help his wife. Lady Gabriella was not seen again during the event following the incident. She was absent from a photo that featured all of the members of the royal family. However, her husband, her mother and brother and sister-in-law remained at the service, suggesting that she recovered well from the episode. The Queen's coffin arrived at Westminster Hall to lie in state yesterday afternoon, following a procession from Buckingham Palace led by King Charles III. The King, in his field marshal uniform, walked in line with his siblings, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, in the procession. Prince William and Prince Harry walked behind with Peter Phillips. Thousands of well-wishers, many in tears, gathered in central London to see the late Queen departing the official residence. Crowds outside Parliament applauded once the procession had passed through the gates into the Palace of Westminster. Eight soldiers from the Queen's Company 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards carried the coffin into Westminster Hall. The Archbishop of Canterbury then conducted a short service. Briefing members of the public have been queuing since yesterday to attend the Queen's lying in state, which begins at 5pm on Wednesday. It will continue until 6.30am Monday, the day of the state funeral. People are expected to flock to the capital to wait for hours to pay their respects to the late monarch. The Queen's funeral will take place on September 19th in Westminster Abbey at 11am. Following the state funeral, the coffin will undertake a procession from Westminster Abbey to Wellington Arch and then on to Windsor. Once at Windsor, the state hearst will undertake a procession to St George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, via the Long Walk. A committal service will then take place in St George's Chapel, with the Queen laid to rest at the King George VI Memorial Chapel, alongside her late husband, Prince Philip. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.